Hi, and welcome to Spice of Your Blog. This is Paul Crow, the author of Spice of Your Blog. And in this video, we have a short tutorial showing you how to add a background image to your comment form on Blogger. And the background image we have is basically the design of an envelope, and it fits in nicely behind your comment form. That's behind the form where people actually write and the buttons to submit. Um, I actually found this image a couple of months ago and had it on a test blog and totally forgot about it, so I'm not quite sure where I found it, but we can see the image we're going to be using here. If we go and have a look, it's basically this image here, and it has a nice design in the top. I'll leave reply in this envelope, should be below the subscribe by email link at the bottom. Um, now, I'm going to add this to a couple of test blogs um, to a blog from the template designer and a blog that was, or a template from the template designer and a template that was downloaded online. Um, because there is a slight difference, and I have two sections of code here also for the two different kinds of templates. So basically, try the first section. If that doesn't work, try the second one because the CSS, just whatever way your template is made up, it might work. The first one might work, but the second one will. So I have the, the first test blog here, which is a template designer uh, template, and I have one here that was downloaded online. So we start with the template designer code, or template designer template. I'm going to click design in the navbar. If you're watching this online on YouTube or somewhere, there'll be a description below that will bring you back to those two sections of code um, on Spice Simple Blog. So we've clicked Design. You can click it from your dashboard. And we'll click Edit HTML. Oh, no, we're not. Actually, this time we're doing it a little bit different. We're going to click Template Designer. So your Template Designer link here. And we'll come on to the Template Designer. I did this earlier and got an error, so hopefully... No, she popped up. Lovely. Okay, so down the left-hand side here... Um, we're going to see all these options for changing things around with the template designer. We're going to click advanced. Don't worry about clicking advanced. We're not going to do anything crazy. But we're going to click advanced. You'll see all these options open up here. I'm going to scroll right to the very bottom where you'll see add CSS. We're going to click that. You'll see a field opens here to add some CSS. Now, back on the post, I will have, as I say, two sections of CSS. And I have found that the first section... We'll work on the custom templates in a second on the template designer. So let's grab the second section of code. We want to copy it. We're going to go back to where we were, which was here. And we're going to paste it into the field that's open here. I'm just going to paste it in there like so. And in the top right-hand corner, we see the option to apply to blog. We're going to click that. And we're going to then click view blog. Okay. We'll click into a post. And we'll scroll to the comments. And it's not there. Okay, so that didn't work. We may as well continue. I was going to stop the video. We may as well continue and try the other one. It doesn't always work for me first time either. So we're going to click Design again. Template Designer. And we know to click Advanced. And to scroll down and click Add CSS. And let's replace that one with the first section of code that we have here. And basically all we're changing um, is how the this CSS is picked up. So let's paste that in instead. Apply to blog. And view blog. And if this doesn't work, you'll be watching a brand new video and this will be gone forever. <laughs> let's scroll down and see. Hey, hey! And there it is. For some reason, it's been cropped slightly over here on the right-hand side, but I'll have that fixed again, you see it. But you can see how the image is going to look in behind your comments. This will go out further once you come to the post. Okay, so let's quickly add it to the blog that we downloaded online, which is this one. I have the design page open here. Once again, in your dashboard, just click Design. Template Designer. Once again, down the left-hand side, we click Advanced. And you'll notice the difference with a template that was downloaded online is the options aren't there when you go onto the template designer because it's coded differently. So you'll see when I click advance on the template designer template, I got a load of options, whereas here I only get the add CSS option because we can't actually change the template uh, that's downloaded online on the template designer. So we're in advanced and straight away we get to this. So let's go back, let's copy this piece of code again. Let's paste it in. In the top right hand corner, we have apply to blog. Template applied. We click view blog. Pops up like so. Hopefully, this time it went in first time. Let's click to post. Scroll down. And there it is, went in first time. And you can see this one has not been cropped. So you can see the subscribe by email with the email icon behind it. And it fits perfectly. It's a nice, it's a nice design, something extra to add to your comment form. Um, 
and I still, I found this months ago and I totally forgot about it. I had it on a test blog, I totally forgot about it. So I might actually look for a couple of extra images that you can add to it to kind of spice up your, your comment form. Um, as I said, I'll have a link to this on YouTube in the description if you're watching it there. And um, you can leave a comment on the post or leave a comment on YouTube and let me know how you, how you get on with it or if you like the image. Thanks for watching the video.